these are the materials you're going to need for step one of making your Chihuly inspired sculpture. You need copy paper, a Sharpie, and a ruler. These are the most important parts. You also need either a compass or shapes, objects where you can trace the shape. If you happen to have stencils, these would be a great tool for the project as well. I'm gonna be giving you step-by-step -step instructions for how to create an abstract design on your copy paper. Now we're gonna do it on the copy paper first because later we're gonna be tracing it on to this material called Shrinky Dink. Shrinky Dink is this awesome art material. Um, it comes in a package like this and you color and then you can actually shrink it. And we're gonna do this really cool process of partially letting it shrink and it's gonna take on a very glass-like effect. So for this first step, everybody's gonna be following the same directions but how you interpret my directions is totally up to you. So here we go. You're gonna start with a straight line that goes from one side of the paper to another side. Now this could be a vertical line, this could be a horizontal line, it could be a diagonal line. There is no right way. We are just trying stuff out. Now, whenever you use a ruler, make sure that your hands are holding the ruler in place. Otherwise, that's likely to slide and then you won't get a nice straight line. The next step is to do another line that goes from one edge of the paper to another edge of the paper. There's one thing I'd like you to do differently though. This time, I want you to make sure that the line intersects or crosses over this first line at some point. Again, I could do a vertical, I could do a horizontal, I could do a, di a diagonal, that's completely up to you. All right, so we have some basic line types. We are gonna change this up and add some variety. What I'd like you to do is make one of these lines a thick line, and here is a simple way to do it. I'm gonna take this diagonal line and adjust it slightly to the left, and I'm gonna draw a second line and then fill the space in between. And that's gonna give me what is called a thick line. Now, if you make a mistake, I'd like you to just keep going at this point. When you go to trace onto your shrinky dink, you can just skip any parts that you don't care for. All right, I'd like you to try to do one additional line type. Now this line type could be a zigzag, a curly, a swirl. This is up to you. And this time I'd like you to go from an edge of your paper until you hit another line. So for example, I think I'm gonna do a curly line and I boop, stop when I hit there. I'd like you to repeat that same line type somewhere else on your paper. So again, starting from the edge, curly, swirly, and boop, hit the paper. So I'm gonna pause there. The next thing that we're gonna do is to add some shapes. Now, if you have a compass at home, you could definitely use this. This may be unfamiliar to you in third grade, so if it's easier, you can just get some round shapes and we're gonna use those instead. So I'm gonna start with a big circle and the circle doesn't have to fit perfectly on the paper. 
unless you want it to. It can also go off. You could even just do a half circle, which would be called a semicircle. Or you could even do just a piece of the circle to create what looks like a rainbow or an arc shape. So I think I'm gonna do this one right about here. Again, I'm gonna hold it secure. And I'm gonna go around the edge here. So I've got one circle, and then maybe I want another one coming off the edge over here. So I'm making an arc shape, kind of like a rainbow. Now I want a bit of variety. I've got those large circles, so I may want to go ahead and try something with some smaller circles too. So I'm allowing these two shapes to overlap with each other. And let's see, just trying some different things out to see what I like. All right, I think I'm gonna do maybe one coming off the edge here. All right, and then I might do just a couple of smaller circles as well. So maybe one over here. I could do those little itty bitty circles, but for now, I think I've got enough. Now, I have some round shapes. I think I would like to include some shapes that have straight edges. Now, if you happen to have a stencil of some type or you could use um, a box or something like that to create a rectangle, you certainly could. You could also do these freehand, so without any kind of tool, just doing the best you can. So I think that that's what I'm gonna try since you may or may not have a stencil at home. And I think I'm gonna do some triangles with a straight edges. Now I am trying to have good craftsmanship. That means that I'm trying to draw my lines with excellence to be as neat as I can. And then maybe I will repeat that again. Sometimes repetition cre can create what's called unity or a sense of the whole piece coming together. So I'm gonna do another section over here. And of course you could do rectangles, hexagons, arrows, it's totally up to you. All right, so I feel like this is a balanced design, so I'm gonna pause here and then I will show you the next step. All right, we are ready for step two. If by chance you are not happy with your first design, you are welcome to re-watch the video directions and do it again and maybe you would have two options that you could select from if you're not happy with your first design. All right, so we're moving on to the Shrinky Dink. You'll notice that it has two sides. There is a shiny side and also a rough side. The shiny side is for Sharpie. The way I remember that is shiny and Sharpie. The rough side is gonna be for the colored pencil that we will do later. So I'm gonna take this shiny side and put it on top of your paper. Now, if you use just a regular piece of copy paper and it's too big, you may have to line it up and just cut along that edge so that your two papers match. So I'm gonna put this on here. And now what I'm gonna do is trace my design onto the shrinky dink. For any of the straight lines, I'm going to go ahead and use a ruler so that I'm really accurate. So here I go. 